Hello everyone! Welcome to our vlog! This is Mimi Guapa. This morning, we shall do another recording of our daily devotional reading series. We are reading from the book Our High Calling, written by Mrs. Ellen Goldwhite. These videos were created as an alternative for people who are always on the go and struggling to develop a proper communion with God and a quality time with Him by reading His words. Your religious affiliations do not matter here as long as you are a Christian, professing to have a relationship with Jesus and wanting to develop that relationship, well, these videos were created especially for you. We started doing this on August 9, 2022, and now it's August 11. It's almost two months. It's more than two months. And I hope you have been with us in this journey, and I thank you for being with us. But if this is your first time joining us, I hope that in tomorrow's video, you will also join us. And in the previous videos, you will also have access to them or download them or add them on your daily playlist. Thank you so much for being with us. And now, let's get on with our reading for today. But before we do so, may I invite you to please seek the Lord with me in prayer. Shall we pray? Our Almighty Father, the Creator of heaven and the earth, the source of eternal rest, the source of eternal of eternity, the source of forever. Lord, we thank you for your love and for your compassion, for forgiving us from all of our sins once we confess them unto you. God, thank you for cleansing us and for opening our hearts and our minds as we have our daily devotional reading for today. Help us to be receptive of your message and may you guide us always, Lord. May you protect us. May you keep us safe. May you bless our leaders from the church, the school, the community, the nation, and the world. May you help them further to travel, to travel in your path of righteousness and that our travail in this world will be overcome because we are with you god bless us always because we cannot do anything about from you lord thank you for your love and for your compassion this we ask in the loving name of jesus amen big little things august 11 take us the foxes the little foxes that spoil the vines for our vine have tender grapes. Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 15. God requires us to be right in important matters while He tells us that faithfulness in little things will fit us for higher positions of trust. The good qualities which many possess are hidden, and instead of attracting souls to Christ, they repulse them. If these persons could see the influence of their uncourteous ways and unkind expressions, Upon unbelievers and how offensive is such conduct in the sight of God, they would reform their habits, for a lack of courtesy is one of the greatest stumbling blocks to sinners. Selfish, complaining, sour Christians bar the way that sinners do not care to approach Christ. Could we look beneath the surface of things, we should see that half-life's misery is created by frowns and unkind speeches, which might be prevented as well as not. Many make a hell upon earth for themselves and for those whom they might comfort and bless. They are not worthy of the Christian name. Some persons speak in a harsh and courteous manner that wounds the feeling of others and then they justify themselves by saying, It is my way and I always tell just what I think. And they exalt this wicked trait of character as a virtue. Their unconscious department should be firmly rebuked. That unkind word should be left unspoken. That selfish disregard for the happiness of others should give place to sympathy and thoughtfulness. True courtesy, blended with truth and justice, will make the life not only useful but fragrant. Integrity, justice, and Christian kindness blended make a beautiful combination. Courtesy is one of the graces of the Spirit. It is an attribute of heaven. The angels never fly into passion, never are envious, selfish, and jealous. No harsh or unkind words escape their lips. And if we are to be the companion of angels, we too must be refined and courteous. Amen. I have been a victim of having that harsh, 
comments and kind words and unkind thoughts how i hope that people i trusted with before are refined and courteous that they lead me to the savior not away from it but i cannot bring back the past what i can do now is to improve my future and to remember that if i want to be treated that way i should treat people that way because these big little things matter these small little things such as our words are big things for other people who are suffering from mental anxiety from depression from anything that is hurting their feelings so if we are unthoughtful we are insensitive we are causing more damage than help so sometimes it's even better than just to listen just to hug just to offer them console of companionship rather than talking their airs out of suggestion and ideas because sometimes when people uh, rant and when people out there give out to their emotions and thoughts they do not necessarily need advices they just need listening shoulders that's why psychiatrists nowadays are highly paid because they just listen to the people but there are also there are also good psychiatrists to give good advices and sound reasoning but most of the psychiatrists as i have said just refer medicine after not actually they seem to be not fully listening to their patients and you know they are not giving sound advices but just to simply listen they are being paid a lot yeah so may you bless us may god bless you and may we are blessed in what we are doing here we may be speaking and talking a lot here but actually we would love to hear from you so if you want to share your experiences with us of how you have been hurt by people as well by their unkind words please share them in the comment section below and let's pray about them that they may change or that we may be able to adjust better the next time that happens to us thank you for listening with us thank you for leaving a like thank you for leaving a comment thank you for sharing this video and for subscribing in our channel may god bless you always my dear brothers and sisters in christ adieu